and Richard. Now, if they look familiar, it's because they've both dated other people on our show. Now, Sheba's first date was, well, you might say a little bit frustrating. Are you dating anybody else? Like, what do you mean by dating? <laughs> Did you know that you're really hard to communicate with? My biological clock is ticking. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Well, that didn't exactly go well. And neither did Richard's first date. Take a look. Well, I say we just get really hammered at dinner. <laughs> After you drink that, I'll look like Prince Charming. Have some more of that drink to kill the bug up your ass. Might want to end this date now. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to get dogged. You're going to finish that food, Missy. Well, everyone deserves a second chance, even Richard. So hopefully our matchmakers will get it right this time. Good luck, guys. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Yeah, what's your name? Richard. Richard, Shiva. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What days do you have off? Like, what? I can, you know, I, I go to work whenever I want because, you know, I, I do my own thing and I have a, you know, a business that's running well by itself. And I <laughs> That's nice. I teach dance. Oh, really? I own a dance school. Get out. Yeah. Nice. She does dance and fitness and really? uh, lift weights here and there. Well, this is the dance studio. Okay, bring your hip. No, go yeah. that way. And then that way. And then that way. And then that way. See, you got it, white boy. And then the running man. Conservative when I date, by the way, just to let you know. Yeah, I, because I'm 30. I'm 30, and it's like, you know, my main concern in dating is like finding the right one. So, how old are you? Uh, 35. 35. Okay. Wow, you just hit my cat line. Yeah. Because I have this thing where I won't date anyone under 35. Oh, really? And over 50. No one under 35 and over 50. Yeah. How are you? Hi, how are you? Welcome to Kempo Karate. How are you doing? I'm Jorge. I'm uh, trying to teach some lesson about Kempo. Pipe to be a masculated. Watch out for family jewels. Go back to the kitchen where you belong. You are too much woman for me. <laughs> ah, finally, moment to relax. Yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah. That was fun. Appreciate you had a good time. All right. What are you passionate about? Um, passionate about fitness. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, you know, when you feel good, right. you're happy, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's like, what is it that you want in your life? I, I you know, consider my life as like, you know, kind of being like a wheel with different spokes. There's definitely spokes that are missing, you know, that I'd like to... Um, you know, meet the right person, you know, obviously. So, what kind of girl do you like? I don't know, you uh, fit the profile. <laughs> you know, totally. Dark hair, dark complexion, you know, brunette. Beautiful. Beautiful body. You know? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a sucker. That's little. all shallow. <laughs> like, what about the deep stuff? Oh, no. well, I know. I, 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 no, no, I, I find that like a, a lot of guys that I date kind of turn into wimps when they're around me. Really? They almost turn into the whining girl. Almost, they they take that role and it really? turns me off. The last guys, because they were so manly and they put me in my place. When really? I, and I like that. You know, like you know, yo, bitch, stop it now. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> no, not he like that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> So how do you think this is going? I'm having a great time. Yeah? Yeah. It's fantastic. I'm enjoying your company. I enjoy your company. Yeah. I think you're extremely beautiful and sexy and full of life. And... Thank you. 
yeah. sprite all around. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Okay, listen, I need a man. Yeah. You can't go and do at least two one arm push ups. What? You're out. There you go. One, two, five. Okay, that nice. was that's straining that's my cap. That is straining my cap. That was that's, really good. That's it for kids. I'm not doing anything more. One, two, Hey, that's strange, that cap, when you're doing that. I, I, if my cap was strained when I was doing that. Oh, really? Well, it is. You're changing it up. Everything in life, you're going to be like, sorry, my calf hurts, you know, I can't do anything. I'm not proud of it. I can't right? date. I got a calf problem. <laughs> oh, this is just beautiful. I was being beat up on and brutalized. by you today, and uh, it felt good. It felt good. Did yeah. you like a woman to be in control for once? Well, no, I don't. Not Do you like all. to be in control? I like to have free space and give that person free space. I don't need to be in control. What do you need to be in control for? Because you know what? It takes a real man not to want control. Control is from people that are insecure. Yeah. It was great meeting you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Mm. Pleasure. Thank you. We'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, we will. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Thanks. Be good. Bye. Wow, dating this girl is tough. I'm thinking Richard will have to go into training before a second date. If there is a second date. Place your bets and we'll see you in a minute. Coming up. Get ready, guys. You're going to get excited here. It's a walk on the wild side. I am woman. Hear me roar. Whoa! The cutting room floor is coming up. The second date with our queen of fitness. She has killer body from the feet to the top of her head. I'm used to, like, guys that are in sick shape. The fact that she did more push-ups for me is kind of humiliating, but, uh, you know, I could, I'll get over that, too. I did double the amount of one-hour push-ups than Richard, and I kind of was testing him on that. It was great that I let Shiva run wild today because she doesn't like to be controlled and she doesn't like to be put in her place. I think Richard would have a very hard time handling a girl like me. I'm absolutely certain Shiva wants a second date with me. I don't feel romantic feelings for Richard. So Richard didn't get the girl, but at least he doesn't have to worry about pulling a muscle. All right, coming up, we'll head back to the bar, and Shiva will show us how she gets all her drinks for free. It's off our cutting room floor next. On the next blind date... I'm a pilot, and we're going to go fly some planes. <gasps> Give me five. <laughs> will this pilot blow his second chance date? This is fun, too. Or will he bring her in for a smooth landing? She's in a wedding dress, I think. Plus... So are you really naked under there? Yep, as a jaybird. These two have nothing to hide. I never wear underwear, to be honest. Thongs go up my butt, and it's annoying. That's next time. That's not really? On Blind Date. Hey, here's Bob, the host with the most, you might say. Oh. Water and get ready, guys. You're going to get excited here. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Are you kidding me? That's amazing. It's ridiculous. I am woman. Hear me roar. Whoa! <laughs> nah, you can't teach that kind of talent. All right, that's going to do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. Thanks for watching. That 70s show, weekday afternoons at 6 and 6.30 on UPN 20. A good meal changes everything, like our new fabulous fruit-filled pancakes full of apples, blueberries, or cherries. Good evening. Get ready, guys. You're going to get excited here. It's amazing. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. It's ridiculous. I am woman. Hear me roar. Whoa! <laughs> You can't teach that kind of talent. All right, that's going to do it for today's show.